sorry for the internet connection having a problem earlier. There was a sudden blackout in our place, but now it's fine. I think it's working fine now. So how are you, Lee? How's everything going on? I'm good and you. Okay, um, yeah, I'm good also. So did you eat dinner already? Uh, yes. So what did you have for dinner tonight? What did you eat, if I may ask? Noodles? Yes. Ah, wow. I think that's really delicious. Okay, so now I will share the screen and we will start with our lesson. So we are already in page 81. Page 81, okay, let's go. Okay, let me just... Hold on, Lee. Okay, so we're done here. So we are now already in digestion. Okay, here. So now we will be talking about digestion. So how does digestion process? So can you please read Lee? Digestion. Um, digestion. Digestion is when we eat food and it gets broken down this by light <laughs> to give us the, the energy we need to move and stay healthy. Your digestive system, system starts with your mouth and ends at the bottom. Okay, 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 that's really good. So, thank you for reading, Lee. So, digestion is what when we? When we eat food. And okay, it so the process of digestion, yes. When we eat food and eat what? It's broken down. Mm, okay, that's it. So digestion occur and it processed in our body. First, we start when we what? We eat food and it gets broken down. Yeah, it gets broken down. So we have here some illustration that we will learn later. So where does your digest digestive system starts? We um. Uh, your uh, digestive system start with your mouth and end at and your at, at. okay so this is the illustration here of okay our digestive system so in order for us to know how the digestive system occur or how it you know processes so we have here explanation so first if you have okay if you have some journey in your life you also have this food journey okay so how does it go how's it like can you please read me once it has been swallowed food has into stomach from mm -hmm. here it moves through the intestine and it and is then pushed out of the body. Okay, okay. That's very good, Lee. So once you eat something and the food has been swallowed already, where does the food passes into? It passes into the? Passes into stomach. Okay, it passes into the stomach. And from your stomach, it moves through the? Through the intestine. Okay, so the food um, passed through your stomach, and from your stomach it moves down to your intestine, and then it pushed where? It pushed uh, out of the body. Yeah, it pushed out of the body. That's why we can excrete some bowels because that is coming from what we eat, right? 
So first we have here, what is this, Lee? Uh, the, the first. Okay, this one. Mm. Yeah, so. Is, is so fake. Ah, okay. Say it again. Esophagus. Esophagus. Okay. Hold on, Lee. So that's the esophagus. So we have here the illustration. Okay. So from there, Okay, from the esophagus, so you, let's just say, you chew the food already, or, uh, I mean, you swallow the food already. So it, start, it starts here in our esophagus, and it goes down to, what is this, Lee? Can you please read? Uh, stomach. Inside the stomach. Liquid, mm -hmm. um, say it again, Lee. Stomach. 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 Okay, Inside right the stomach, liquid, liquid chemicals um, add to the food and turn around. Okay, so it's like this. When you already swallow the food, okay, from your esophagus, it goes down to your stomach. And when it's here in your stomach, there are what? There are? They are the liquid chemicals and exactly. add to Okay, say it again, Lee. Liquid chemicals. Liquid chemi chemicals. Okay, that's the right pronunciation. Liquid chemicals. So there are liquid chemicals that are added to the food. Okay, when it passes through the stomach, there are already liquid substances here that is added to the food and it, it's turned around. You know, when once it's turned around, it passes through the, what do you think? It uh, passed into the, uh, after passing through the stomach, the mm -hmm. much liquid shivers through the small intestine. Yeah, so it, it just imagine if the, the food that you swallowed are like hard and then it passes through the small intestine, do you think that would be um, really uh, ideal to get fit there? are well best suited to be fit there. So that's why the, the, the liquid chemicals are added there. So it might, you know, be better for the food to, as it turned around, it, it, it um, appears or it, it becomes liquid already. So it's easier for it to, you know, churn around and pass through to and fro. So that's true. Once it passed through the stomach, it moves and the, the foods are what? It's called mashed up food. Okay, and the liquid, this liquid chemicals travel through the? Through the small intestine. Yeah, so it travels through the small intestine. That's why digestion is very important because if the digestion process were not able to occur properly in your body, then there will, there will be really problems, just like people who are having problems with how to excrete their bowel or their bowel movements so they cannot really um, excrete the waste properly that is maybe because there's a problem with the digestive um, I mean there's a problem with the digestion in her body so large meal takes can you please read me uh, a large meal takes takes one to three days to pass through the Digestive system. Okay, a large meal takes what? One to three days to pass through the digestive system. So imagine if you are used to eating large meal. Okay, this is a reminder for me. <laughs> I'm not sure for you. So if you eat large meal, it would take one to three days to pass through the digestive system. So imagine me if you're like eating a lot during night time and then you will sleep. What do you think? You're eating large meal during night time. 
That's why there are people who, who got cardiac arrest. They were not able to wake up already early in the morning. They are already found dead. Maybe because they they are eating large meals, you know, during nighttime. And then maybe it was not really like um, the digestive system wasn't really that, how will I say this? There was, the, there was a problem with the digestion process. And it might be that the person also have some complications, like some underlying diseases, maybe. Um, the person has heart attack or uh, whatever disease it might be that might, you know, trigger. So that's why um, large meals, like, it would really take one to three days to process that because it's, it's like, heavy, you know. So we have here, okay, this is an illustration, okay, so that we will know what, what it's like, especially when um, the... I mean, in the mouth itself, what does it do? How, how do it process when we eat food? Can you please read it, Lee? In the mouth, when we chew. In the mouth, when we chew, food is broken and mixed with the liver. Different teeth do different jobs. When uh. we chew food, it goes down. Uh. Oh, it's esophagus. Esophagus. <laughs> Esophagus. Okay. So when we chew, food is what? Uh, food, food is broken and mixed with saliva. 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 So you might think Lee, that, oh, why is it that after you eat the food, it passes through the stomach and it, it goes with, it goes along with some liquid chemicals. That is because when the food is chewed, it's, it is already mixed with saliva, and part of that there will be liquid um, chemicals already that are into the food that you eat, that are, I mean, with the foods that you eat. So what does it say here? Different teeth do different jobs. So what are the jobs there of these teeth that we have? When so the when the food is swallowed, what happened? It goes down and... Mm. Esoph esophagus okay esophagus. so it's like this so when the food is chew inside when the food i mean the chew i mean when the chewed food is swallowed it goes down this one it's like a chew it's like a small chew this is the esophagus you know it goes here okay it goes here here and we have here sharp, what is that? Can you please read? What is the function of these teeth here? It functions as? Um, the punch. Okay, especially the, you know, the front teeth. What is its function, Lee? It's sharp. In scissor, cut food. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a sharp incisor to cut food. This is the one who cuts food. Well, especially when um, you're eating, like, let's just say, some leafy vegetables, like water spinach. Okay, you need to, like, cut it. Okay, especially when you're eating the, how will you say this? Not the leaves, but, uh, I mean, like, how will I say this? Yeah example um you're eating let's just say another another illustration uh, let's just say you're eating a pumpkin okay and it made me hard so the the front teeth is the one that cuts the food because it's sharp so it helps to cut the food especially those that are hard foods we have here how about this portion of our teeth please read me oh, i can mean it can your food can it Mm. Tear food. Okay, pointed cannons tear food. So this is the one that tears food. Okay, so if there are foods that are, you know, it needs to be teared, um, maybe um, something like, uh, have you tried eating, I for, I for, wait, it's in my, it's, it's in my mouth, but I cannot say it. Uh, let me, 
Ah, see we ah wait, hold on. I'll show you a picture. Okay, so let me just get it and copy it here. Okay, just like this one, just an example. Hold on, Lee. Oh, it's not making. <laughs> Okay. So let me just upload it. There's a struggle with my fast in. So just this one, Lee. Okay. Can you see the photo? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Just like that, just like the seaweed, you know, it would take you to like really tear, tear that down to really um, chew that properly. And what else here? We have here flat, a flat molars. What? What is the function of the flat, flat molar? Flat molar crush food. Okay, flat molars they crush food. So this is the one that crushes food, and especially those foods that are like <laughs> it needs to be crushed. You know, it's hard. It's something like that. Well, I, what I can imagine is when I'm trying to, you know, when I was a child, I used to like eat. I, I don't. I don't if you tried this, like ice, ice ice when it was in the fridge I when a water is in the fridge and it becomes an ice and I used to cr crush that that's funny okay large intestine please read it Lee what is the function of it uh, is in large intestine the waste part of food stay in the large intestine until they are pushed push out or a food as food um, pod, say it, Lee, pod. A pod. Uh, okay, pod. pod. So, upon, upon learning in this lesson, Lee, about the digestive system, so, what can you say about the digestive system? How, how, did you understand it well? Or do you have some questions? Mm. So what, what if you will, what, what if you will like, um, let's just say you like eat a lot, like you, you mashed foods, you, let's just say you mashed food, you mix food, okay, you eat this fruit, you eat this vegetable. <laughs> have you tried that you eat like many kinds of fruits and then you got diarrhea? <laughs> Your stomach was bloating, and then you you went into the toilet many times. What what, what would that be? What what might be the problem? Do you think? Uh, I think. Uh, I think the digestive system. Yeah. Has mm -hmm. Problem. Mm -hmm. And the digestive system has a problem. That's true. So what we intake in our body is very important. What, what you allow your body into is really 
what matters, you know? You cannot just put anything into your <laughs> your body just because you want it, just because you think it's delicious. We need to be very careful because if, if just for example, for in, for an instance, you you want to eat all those variety of fruits and then all in one, all in one, you ate it and then you, you know, you put it in your body and so that would really cause indigestion. You will have diarrhea, or you will have some. Um, the other one, you know, when it's hard to to excrete the bowels, that that is really hard because there will be really a problem in the digestion in your digestive system, especially if you are like not really careful of what you're putting in your body. Imagine how many days it would take for a large meal to be to be passed through into your digestive system. Uh, it takes uh, one to three days. Mm, so it's a journey. Food coming into your body is a journey because it travels. It travels. I would say the word, I would use the word to be move, but let me just use the word travel. You know, it travels from from your esophagus down to your stomach, down to your intestine, and then it will be excreted. Yeah, it's like that. So if we do, if we did something that clogs the digestion or it helps or it 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 hinders or there was a barrier in the digestive or in the digestion how it process then there will be a problem that's why we also need to be careful with what we eat we are what we eat you know and we need to also avoid eating too much because it might really cause a problem imagine the small intestine you know <laughs> You put a lot, and then you can just imagine how the foods can get in there. But you're eating a lot, and your intestine is just not, it's not large enough to place those foods that you had eaten. And the large intestine is what? This is the? This the uh, waste. waste. Mm, yes, this is the waste parts. So if there are waste parts of the food that you had eaten, it stays in the large intestine. It's like that. Well, it's already timely. Do you have some question or some clarification? Well, I just would like to ask you something before we end this class. Uh, uh, do you believe in the saying that you are what you eat? Really? Uh, I think you, you are yes. what you eat. Uh, yes. Why? Because if we eat uh, green food and mm -hmm. um, and our body is very healthy mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's true so if you're eating hard foods or large meals or you're eating a lot then that would really be who you are and who you are can affect with what you are. So if you are like that, then your body will also be that way because you are, you are, you are just allowing yourself to be like that. So the body is just, you know, giving you the response of what you are doing with yourself. So it's like that. Well, thank you so much, Lee. I'm so sorry, but it's already time. Do you have some concerns, questions, reactions? Well, I don't have a question. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, Lee. I hope you have a great night and take note. Our lesson next meeting will be about dinosaurs. So we'll be showing you a pres video presentation about it and then we will explain this further. And this is an interesting topic, so I want you to get ready with this. Bye bye, Lee. I hope you have a great night. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye.